Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Flyers circulating the internet promise 50 state capital protests beginning Sunday. On Monday, state senators spend an hour behind closed doors for a classified security briefing. And our Senate president was dead serious when he said that, he, that they would keep us safe. I felt very good walking out of that security briefing. State Senator Linda Stewart says the briefing included tips for when senators were not in the Capitol as well. There's a bunch of crazy people out there. Uh, we can't tell what they're doing. I've already gotten several flyers that are promoting violence, and I think that uh, we have to always be on our toes and be aware. The FBI has sent an alert putting all 50 state capitals on alert. The U.S. Attorney for Northern Florida says plans are in place to keep the peace. We are in a 24-7 uh, command center posture. And uh, I'm a great believer in transparency and accountability. And if you want the public to trust uh, assurances that uh, we believe that we have the situation in control here. In my decades here, security breaches have been few and far between, and none have ended violently. State Senator Aaron Bean says the briefing dealt with multiple threats. We're just looking at anybody that wants to do harm. And that's where the, the briefing was, was designed to have a, a, a safe blanket of security. Lawmakers themselves won't be in the Capitol over the weekend nor next week when the chances of violent protests are the greatest. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.